Hello brothers and sisters I'm here to share some visions that I received from the Lord from the year 2020 to 21 One early morning in 2020 I was praying and I saw a huge pink moon in a pink uh, tinged sky and then I saw a dark figure like in this drawing coming down on the earth and i saw this dark figure near the tree line and as i looked i saw the present pope wearing a beautiful blue mitre embroidered with threads of gold orange and blue and the holy spirit spoke he is sorry he will raise himself up of his own and i was made to understand to pay special attention to the mitre as if it held a clue and i was also made to understand that the embroidered mitre symbolized his intentions of placing himself at a high position and then the vision ended another day while i was praying i saw a roman soldier complete with his helmet and his soldier's attire um sitting on a white horse and then the scene transitioned into another and here i saw a dark dismal gloomy figure of the devil <clears throat> the figure had two horns and the hands were stretched sideways the place where uh, this dark figure rose from was uh, it was a utterly gloomy place it seemed to me that the figure was coming out uh, from the ground and that was the end of the vision then one night um, as i was sleeping i experienced something which was so real like i was living it as okay i experienced that i was shouting out to the people the antichrist is here the antichrist is here and i did not see anything but i heard myself warning people desperately and i was shouting and i felt and as i was shouting i felt the satan come suddenly rushing out of nowhere he was quick very quick and he pushed me and pinned me against the wall in my house he was very angry that i was warning um, the people and i was literally experiencing this and as the satan pushed i too pushed him back i kept pushing him with all my strength and the satan also kept pushing me and pinning me to the wall he was strong but i did not let go praise the lord and this continued for some time and then i woke up because of a coughing i was gasping as if i had just got my breath back and my throat was dry and i had to immediately drink some water and then the holy spirit made me realize that an angel had rushed to rescue me hallelujah now these are visions that i received uh, over a period of 2 years and i've, I've just compiled them together because they all um point to the same thing and so there's one more vision that um, one night in 2021 while i was praying with my, uh, with my family i saw the face of the pope again and this time he was wearing a red mitre and i asked the lord what was he trying to tell me and i did not get an answer and neither did i understand the meaning of the red mitre and a couple of days later while i was working in the kitchen the holy spirit reminded me about the vision and led me to revelation chapter 3 verse uh, sorry chapter 12 verse 3 specifically the great red dragon and that was the revelation that the dragon is the is that the satan gave power to the beast and so the red mitre stood for the power given by the satan to the beast and so the beast of revelation 13 that we see rising up is the present pope brothers and sisters there are some more confirmations that the lord gave me uh, through verses in the bible but if i add all that that's going to make the video very long and so when i gradually realized through the many revelations about the pope i naturally was troubled in my heart you see it's not easy to tell this because the fate of the beast is doomed the beast of revelation 13 we know is doomed and all the eschatological scholars who differ with this revelation i request you to take it with a pinch of salt when the lord started revealing this to me i had never heard the word eschatology
and to those who say that the pope is the false prophet i request you to confirm with the lord just seeing the pope or the ex president of the us in a vision does not imply that one is the f- a false prophet and the other is the antichrist recheck if you have been revealed about the characteristics of the false prophet or the antichrist along with the vision prophecies are not for a private interpretation second peter chapter 1 verse 21 to 20 20 to 21 and all i want to humbly say is that please do not be a stumbling block for the truth and keep your negative comments for another day the revelations were heavy for me so as the lord why would the present pope act against the lord and the holy spirit told me to understand the character of judas iscariot Judas Iscariot was a disciple of Jesus and witnessed all the teachings and miracles done by Jesus yet Judas betrayed Jesus In John chapter 12 we read that John said that Judas was a thief because he stole from the charity bag and when Mary <coughs> poured out the exp- expensive ointment on Jesus feet Judas objected saying that the ointment could be sold for money to give to the poor just like the beast who will speak great things and good things he was the perfect candidate in the making for the working of satan at the passover jesus made it very clear that judas was going to betray him yet none of the disciples could understand like the disciples many today do not understand the identity of the beast and judas conspired with those in authority the chief priests and the elders and even now the beast is working with the world leaders and the rich of this world to set up his kingdom and to rise at the passover we read satan entered judas this is the same as the dragon giving power to the beast in revelation 13 Brothers and sisters I would never have been able to add all these but it's the holy spirit the revealer of the deep mysteries of god the antichrist is the rider of the first seal in revelation 6 he has only one crown unlike jesus who has many crowns the beast is even now conquering many places on the earth the beast or the antichrist or revelation will worship other gods please read ezekiel chapter 8 verses 5 through 18 the priests and the elders were worshiping strange gods in the temple of jerusalem and uh, the gods were it was the sun god and uh, the image called jealousy was ashtaroth and the child is the dead child was tammuz and do you know about the lauda to see covenant a book written by the pope This covenant is about the need to tackle climate change and to bring about economic balance for all. It addresses to every person living on this planet to care for a home. I do not know if this is the uh, covenant of Daniel 9:27. I've never been revealed about that, but definitely it's worth mentioning. We are asked not to follow any man, but worship God in accordance to his word. wrong beliefs can lead to destruction of the soul praying to the dead is not biblical statues, statues or, or idols, idols are an, are an abomination, abomination to the lord to the lord wasn't the statue of king nebuchadnezzar an idol whom daniel refused to worship no one can contain god in an image or statue the satan has fooled the world with its lies and faith comes through not through seeing but faith comes through believing in things that you've not seen and believing things that you hope for jesus is the only mediator between god and man because he is the one who shed his blood for the remission of our sins it's jesus who intercedes for us and no other saint or, or not even an angel replacing jesus the spirit of the antichrist all those following the customs and traditions taught by man please think of your soul it is not worth it to follow man and lose your soul i'm fighting spiritual battles for this video to be released i've deliberated over it for a long time because i told jesus i did not want to give out any wrong revelations and oh the pope is 85 years old do you get it today is the 9th of may 2022 while i'm recording this and my script was already written for recording 
uh, but I was still deliberating and thinking over this over and over again because many, many, many are not willing to receive this message, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. And uh, on the 8th of May, when I went to sleep in the night, I was praying and I heard the Lord say, and he said this, these words, and I have seen the perplexities of their heart. So in the night, I thought that this was a message or, or a verse in the Bible, sorry. And so I checked it, but I found no match. And uh, But in the morning when I woke up, I realized it was a message from the Lord. And he's uh, talking and he's saying that he's seen the confusion in the hearts of believers regarding the identity of the beast. And, uh, and, and this message is, of course, first and foremost for me. I mean... <laughs> This was God reprimanding me, I'm telling you. And so it sent me scrambling to post this video. So and now I'm deaf and blind to those who differ. Brothers and sisters, spread the word. All those who do not believe in this revelation, I pray in the name of Jesus that the truth set you free. Amen. And all my beloved brothers and sisters who believe, stay blessed and be in the faith till the last. I pray for you every day. Each, every believer I do pray for every day. And please pray for me and my family too. I thank you so much for your time and your patience. God bless you.